Hello and welcome to the Superscript New Comic Book Minute for the week of, looking at the date, June 28th. So first we're going to start with the books that are on sale today, the day we are filming this, uh, which is the 28th, Tuesday, and then we're going to talk about the books that are coming out tomorrow on Wednesday. Yeah. Uh, Tuesday, not a whole lot in terms of new titles, but we've got some very exciting ones. We've got uh, DC vs. Vampires Killers, so this is a spinoff to the incredibly popular DC vs. Vampires. Uh, this one's been written by Matthew Rosenberg, who, you know, we love. Uh, we're going to talk about some other Matt Rosenberg books later on in this single minute that we are talking about comics here. Um, but yeah, highly recommend checking this out. Um, and then I really liked issue one of Batman Fortress. Batman Fortress issue two is out today. You can come into the shop and pick it up today. It's really good. It's by Gary Whitta. You may know from, oh, any number of things. Uh, Book of Eli, some Star Wars. Uh, I think he was like the editor of PC Gamer back in the day. Uh, or, you know, giant bomb stuff. Um, and then finally, we have the question omnibus. The Denny O'Neill question omnibus. Uh, this is pretty spectacular. Uh, and kind of a steal at 99 bucks. Um, yeah, this is definitely like one of the things I would love to own in omnibus form. It's a really you know, fetching volume, as uh, Sean would say. Anyways, we are moving on to books coming out Wednesday of this week. So that'll be the 29th. Uh, Nick, do you want to take us away on Wednesday books? Sure. Uh, we've got Dungeons and Dragons, Ravenloft. Looking forward to this. Uh, the this looks really, really good. Um, I don't know, Ravenloft, fan favorite setting of Dungeons and Dragons. So check out a new series uh, in in that world uh, by, put out by IDW. So Dungeons and Dragons, Ravenloft. Then we got Thor, Lightning and Lament, just in time or with plenty of time before the next Thor movie comes out. I don't remember when that comes out. It's like but any minute now. Yeah. Um, Ralph Macchio writing this one. Not that Ralph Macchio. Not the, yeah, the other, the comic book Ralph Macchio. Man. Um, so, yeah. Thor. Always love some Thor. Then we got Mindset, a new one from Vault. I'm just going to read the back of this one. When an introverted tech geek accidentally discovers mind control, he and his friends do something unexpected. They put the science into an app to help users break their mind, no, break their technology addiction. And maybe their mind. That's a more, um, yeah. It's a more, it's a more noble thing than I think most would do if they discovered mind control. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So, Mindset, looking forward to that. It's a Zach Kaplan book. The, yeah, the art in this is uh, outstanding. It reminds me, it, it actually reminds me of uh, Nice House on the Lake art. I don't know if anyone is the same team, but... This book's been getting a ton of buzz. This is one of those things I've been really excited for. for yeah. A while, not for any books. So. Yeah, so this one will probably go quick. We got a lot of it, but I wouldn't be surprised if we are running low by the end of the day. So if you use the Comic Cup app, get those subs in today. Then we got Star Wars Obi Wan number two. Chris Cantwell on this. So if you're looking for a good Star Wars series, um, probably check this one out because Chris Cantwell, one of my knows, favorites, he knows some comic writing. How to do it. So Obi Wan. Then. Godzilla, the best of Godzilla. If you have been looking for a Godzilla comic, but you're just like, you know what? I only want the good stuff. Then here it is. IDW, best of Godzilla. Then we've got from the creators of Ultraman, a new one, Redman. Uh, I think he's also a big giant guy that fights kaiju monsters, but he's Redman instead of Ultraman. Don't know exactly how that's different, but I'm curious to find out. Oh, actually it shows on the back. See, here's... The parts, the parts that are red, and this is the part that is man. So combined, to be red man. Is there any sort of Wu Tang tie-in? There might be. We'll find out in issue one of Red Man. Then we got uh, number. What, what issue is this? Issue seven of What's the Furthest Place from Here? This is Tyler Boss and Matt Rosenberg's hit series about uh, post-apocalypse and weird teens and kind of warriors type stuff going on. What if I didn't read the first six issues? Well, if you didn't, if they sold out too fast, we've got volume one here, this big hefty volume one for 20, mere $20. Um, this contains the first six issues. So perfect, you could pick up this to catch up and then you could get issue seven to start right, reading it in issues. Um, so yeah, this series has been great. Um, if you're a fan of 
like I said, the warriors are like weird teen stuff in a weird post-apocalyptic world. Um, and like what's the purpose of Tons of like 90s punk rock and hardcore. Yeah, references. if you like music references, then that's for you. Speaking of 90s, Buffy 97. Um, Jeremy Lambert writing this one. This is a new one from Boom. Um, this look, I'm, I'm excited to check this out. I always like checking out a new Buffy series. Um, this one looks very colorful. The art is colorful, I will say. And, I don't know, I'm excited to see what happens. There's two um, people who were alive to Buffy watch. Buffy 97. Buffy in 97. Yeah, yeah. So. This great screen cover. Um... And then, well, here, why don't I save this for the very end? For the very end, okay. I'm going to turn through my, uh, the things I'm excited to read for the least. Uh, so other than mindset, I think my second most, the thing I'm most excited for is Gail Simone returning to Marvel to write The Variants, uh, a Jessica Jones-focused uh, book. This is going to be the book to read this week. This thing looks awesome. I'm so excited. I mean, I love Gail Simone and Gail Simone's sense of humor and style and plot and everything is is really uh you know i hold in very high regard uh the fact that she had to call the book the variants has made it nigh impossible very hard. to uh keep uh straight in our it's point of sale system book. and our inventory management mm -hmm. uh especially when we start talking about the variant covers for the variants um but yeah that we can forgive gail simone that, that is she's gail simone uh Moving on, we've got Captain America, Symbol of Truth. I actually liked issue one quite a bit, which is a creative team I was not familiar with. So issue two, we still got some of issue one on the shelf, but issue two, uh, this is if you're looking for good Captain America, uh, well, Deadpool shows up, so I'm sure there are hijinks yeah. uh, in issue two. And then we've got Iron Man and Hellcat Annual, the, uh, the couple from Chris Cantwell's outstanding long-running Iron Man series returns. Uh, the annual ties into that, so if you're reading Iron Man, you should just be getting this anyways. Um, speaking of Iron Man, we have Iron Cat. It's a black cat in an Iron Man suit. Ah, uh, sold. Uh, but also, Jed McKay, so, Thanks. you know, sold on the merit is probably a pretty good comic book uh, on top of that. Uh, uh, we're entering kind of the final arc of Berserker with, uh, you have to say it without using vowels. Um, Written by Matt Kent and some guy named Keanu Reeves. Uh, but, yeah, big fan of Matt Kent's writing. Um, and, uh, you know, this this newcomer to the world of comics, Keanu Reeves, Keanu Reeves. Seems, seems to be doing all right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this has been an option for a Netflix series. I think also starring the author of this comic, Keanu Reeves, which is weird. Yeah. You don't often see comic book yeah. writers star in you know, television shows based Turns on their work. Act. Yeah. It's really... <laughs> Real polymath there. I uh, know, but that's been really cool, and that's worth yeah. checking out as well. Uh, we do have the, the trades trade, yeah. also if you want to get caught up and jump in. Um, we have issue two, so this was delayed a couple of weeks, but we finally have issue two of Eight Billion Genies by Charles Soule. Really cool concept. Um, what if a everybody on the planet got a genie with one wish? Uh, what would happen? Uh, you know, it goes about how you might think, but the Arts yeah. Outstanding um, by Ryan Brown and. Uh, yeah, definitely. If you haven't, if you missed the first issue, uh, worth worth getting into that series now because it looks like it's going to be something special. Speaking of things, oh man, I forgot this was this week. Uh, things that are probably pretty special. Uh, we have a new uh, image series by Chip Zdarsky. You know him from both Daredevil and soon to be Batman, or as he calls it, Batman and Red Batman. Uh, writer of uh, Stillwater, which is not saying the title, um, and just, you know, a bunch of great stuff. Chip Zdarsky is one of our favorites. Um, and Public Domain is a superhero, an indie superhero book from Image that I have not read yet, but I'm very excited about because anything Chip Zdarsky writes is gold. Next one, we've got uh, Sins of the Black Flamingo, which is kind of like a neo-noir superhero detective -y sort of thing, um, with a extreme sense of style by Travis Moore. Um, I am looking forward to reading this, uh, very much not for children as I'm flipping through the pages for the first time now, but, uh, looks awesome. Uh, yeah, I don't know. If you're into, like, uh, I don't know, Vegas mystery stuff, I think this might be you. Um... 
And then we have Image, uh, 30th Anniversary Anthology. They're doing a series of these. This one seems to be focused on uh, Headlopper. And, oh, it has a bunch of stuff. Sorry, that's right. These are, there are a couple different stories. So this one's got stuff by Jeff Johns, John uh, uh, Arcudi, uh, Wyatt Kennedy, Wes Craig, Scotty Young, Marie Gandolfo, uh, Kyle Higgins, Patrick Kindlin. Ooh. And uh, yeah, so a bunch of good stuff in here. These have been awesome so far. And, uh, you know. It's cool. Image has changed the face of comics, and it's hard to believe it's been 30 years. We also have some trades. Oh, boy. Moving this omnibus. All right. Dark Room. So, GN by, uh, or it's an image book by Gary Dugan. Uh, we like Gary Dugan. This looks sweet. Uh, finally, in a hardcover, uh, collected in one volume, The Last Ronin um, by Laird and Eastman, the original... TMNT team, uh, the creators of. Uh, it took a long, long time for this to come out in issues, and now yeah. you can read it all at once. So even if you're getting issues, I know you probably want to pick this up just to read the whole thing in its entirety. Uh, it's really cool. It's a nice hardcover, and it's only $29.99, which is not That's bad hard. for that. Uh, and then finally, uh, the second volume of one of my favorite ongoing horror series, Basilisk by Cullen Bunn. Volume two's out. You should get volume one. Volume two's great. If you like weird cult horror, this is uh, both cult and a cult, um, turns out. Uh, and that's I all I got. One. We got one more really important one, though. Yeah, so very exciting. We've got Ghosts of Science Past. Uh, this is a original graphic novel put up by Humanoids, uh, written by local author Joseph Sarecki. Um, so this is a... Um, uh, all ages uh, story, uh, sort of a uh, Christmas carol, but science. So um, the ghosts of science past um, kind of guide this kid through a journey of, of physics and, and science and all that good stuff. So if you're looking for a book uh, by a local creator, something that's good for a young one or someone new to comics or something that's maybe a little educational as well as fun then ghost of science past is for you also on wednesday we've got joseph sarecki uh in the store right here um this very from table open to i think three o'clock so get in early get your books he'll be here uh sign some copies um also if you pick up a copy of this while he's here he will have some limited uh, supply of his Ashcan edition of his new upcoming series, um, Captain Suave, um, which I he, he dropped off an Ashcan copy for us and I flipped through it and it's really cool. And that one is like set in C Cleveland. Um, so that's cool too. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so stop in on Wednesday, check out the new comic table, it's a big week, and say hi to Joe and pick up Ghost of Science Past and get yourself a limited Ashcan comic and uh yeah Sign let us copy know. of the book yeah probably. yeah uh yeah art's it art oh yeah Jesse Longerman on this um oh, I, I've actually been a big fan of his art for a little while now so yeah cool right. well we'll see you yeah whenever <laughs> at some point in time uh thank you everybody